Hello my dear doctor, now the topic that I will discuss, that is 3 star topic my dear, it is very important to discuss, just follow me, what is written in your notes. Autoimmune polyendocrinopathy syndrome, or we can say autoimmune polyglandular syndrome, so we can term APS. Addition's disease is like autoimmune hypoadrenalism is associated with the other endocrine deficiencies in approximately 10% of the patients. There are two distinct types of autoimmune polyendocrinopathy syndrome, means APS, with type 2, sometimes referred to as the Smith syndrome, being much more common. APS type 2 has polygenic inheritance and is linked to the HLA-DR3 or DR4. So, circle polygenic, circle DR3, DR4. And patients have additional disease plus either type 1 diabetes, autoimmune thyroid disease. APS type 1 is occasionally referred to as multiple, multiple endocrine deficiency autoimmune candidiasis, means MEDAC. Type 1, MEDAC. Type 2, Smith. It is very near okay autosomal recessive disorder caused by mutation AIR is zine on chromosome number 21. Features of APS type 1, 2 out of 3 needed to diagnose, that is the chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis, typically first feature as young child and additional disease, primary hyperparathyroidism, vitiligo can occur in both cases, both types. So, let's talk about the boxes and these boxes will be helpful, my dear. Just look at the board. What I am saying actually, the assess box, that is the addition's digits, is strongly associated with two categories of the disease means autoimmune adrenalitis, means autoimmune adrenal gland disease is strongly associated with other diseases. Because of APS type 2 is more common than APS type 1, that's why I have written the APS type 2 first, then second is that one. APS type 2 is called Smith syndrome or whatever you can remember, but this type 1 is a MEDAC that we need to remember, MEDAC. And type 1, we, type 2, we know this is the polygenic, means multiple genes are responsible, and this is actually the HLA DR3 or DR4. In contrast, this is APS type 1 is an autosomal recessive disorder. Zine is AIRE1 zine on chromosome number 21. So 1 for 21, remember. So both has got the additions disease. Both has got the addition's disease. Both has got the addition's disease. I am putting AD. Plus. Plus. He has the type 1 diabetes and thyroid disease, autoimmune thyroid disease, maybe hype 1 hyperthyroidism. In contrast, you see the MEDAC is multiple endocrine deficiency autoimmune candidiasis. So the most important feature is mucocutaneous candidiasis. But on top of the list is primary or idiopathic hypoparathyroidism. And both of these diseases we must remember strongly associated with VT Lego. Just write it down. Usually come up in your exam the five star topic and also we need to move to disease like Parnish's anemia, 
and hypogonadism we need to remember. I need to talk a little bit more so that it will be easier to remember all these things together. My dear, it's very important to discuss. So, SS box, once again, the additions this. Autoimmune adrenalitis means autoimmune damage or inflammation of autoimmune, right? The adrenal gland insufficiency is very strongly associated with the APS, autoimmune, autoimmune polyglandular syndrome type 2 and type 1. Type 2 is a Smith, so two tits. And type 1 is in meta. So type 2, these are autoimmune, so the polygenic and DRT and DR4 in contrast, the also recessive AR1 and 1 for 21. So addition is strongly associated with the three categories of disease you need to remember is disease type 1 and thyroid disease, autoimmune thyroid disease. In contrast, addition disease is common, but the candidiasis, the word you know, the C4 candidiasis, we need to remember. But the idiopathic hypoparathyroidism, but autoimmune hypoparathyroidism, just write it down, is the first presentation in this syndrome. This is very important. A bit of small box will be helpful here. We already studied MAN1, remember? And this is APS type 1. MAN1 having the primary hyperparathyroidism, hyperparathyroidism, primary. In contrast, in APS type 1 is primary hypoparathyroidism. So the hyper and hypo parathyroidism is a feature so that we can remember. This compare and contrast box will be helpful to remember. And these both are strong based with the vitiligo and along with the pernicious anemia and hypogonadism that we must remember. These boxes once again five star. The talk is the additions to this if it's type 2 and 1, type 2 Smith, Maddox, and C4 candidiasis, we must remember C4 candidiasis. But the first presentation is the hyperparathyroidism, and we can remember by seeing this box that is man 1 is hyperparathyroidism and APS type 1 is a hypoparathyroidism. And this type 2 is more common than that of the APS type 1. That's why we discuss this APS type 2 first, and this is the three disease. There is autoimmune polyglandular syndrome, this adrenalitis, autoimmune adrenal gland disease, thyroid disease and type 1 diabetes.